Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're here on Emerald Coast, and we're going to be doing the saltwater crocodile grind. Specifically, I am trying to find an albino or melanistic. But what I figured we would do today is just run down the coast. That is pretty much the only area I grind is the coast here. I just run up and down it. I figured we'd run down here, and then somewhere along here we actually have two trophies. There's a guaranteed diamond and a piebald level 5, I want to say. So we will be taking them down. They are actually in the same exact zone, which is pretty cool. But to start our hunt off, we've got a mythical here. He is max weight potential going up to 1100 kg. And an 836 to 1016 is his estimate. So not quite diamond potential. And then we've got a level 6 over there. 605 to 775. So most of the time, I will just get them to go alert, because if they're facing away from you and you get them to go alert, they are going to flip around and give you a shot. And I usually don't worry about going for neck shots unless it's just the best shot possible. So here we go, we can get into a lung right there, and then they run straight for the water so you can get a second shot. Let's see about getting this level 6 as well. And I missed it as he turned, but our mythical did go down, so we'll grab him real quick. He is going to be a gold, 989.02. First shot was into the left lung, and second was a little bit far back. It was liver and stomach, but liver is vital. And I am using the Arzena 300 Mag Tactical. The 300 brings him down super quickly. It does not matter which one you are using. But our level 6, he's went back to resting, so we're just going to run over here and take him down. And I would imagine as soon as we round this corner, there will be even more. And yep, there's another level 6, 656 to 826. We are now right on top of this level 6, so let's try to get into a lung here. He's going to spin around, and let's take that shot. This level 6 is going to be alert. And we'll go ahead and get him as well. I was hoping that level 6 would float over here, but I'm pretty sure he's stuck right there. But we've got this first one. He is a silver, 703.49, right lung and thoracic vertebrae, so a little high with that shot. But it did manage to bring him down pretty quickly, and it was at 20 meters. And yeah, he is just stuck right there on the land where it is pretty shallow. He will actually be a gold, 775.74, right lung, liver, and stomach. Going into the water there is a level 7, so we're going to take him before he gets away, 819 to 989. And then right here in front of us, we have a level 4. And he's only going to be alarmed. That is something I've noticed with the crocodiles, as you can shoot really close to them, and they won't flee right away. And at level 7, he probably wasn't going to flee. He was just alarmed and everything. He probably would have came back onto the land. But we went ahead and took him anyway. So starting with the level 4, he's a silver, 564.85, left lung, right lung, liver, and stomach. So hit pretty much everything you could hit in there. And then the level 7, he's a gold, 853.92, left lung, thoracic vertebrae, and right lung. We've got three males over here. Let's see if we can get all of them. So there's a level 4, this one is a level 5, and then right behind him is a level 6. And he's only alarmed. So definitely hit him. It might be a little bit far back, but hoping it got at least into the liver. But those other two, they did drop. All three of them have went down. I was hoping the level 6 would float all the way over here, but it did get stuck right there. So this is the level 5. Silver, 661.81. Double long right there. This will be the level 4. Silver, 581.60. And that was right lung and liver and also the stomach. And with this guy, like I said, I think it's probably going to be a bit far back. Maybe stomach and liver. Because it did take him a little bit longer to go down. 
And we actually messed him up. He's a bronze, 717.66. It was in the intestines and stomach, so way farther back than I thought it was. That is unfortunate. Nice. We have got another mythical, 793 to 963. So he's a little bit small for mythical in terms of those estimates. But we'll still take him down. He might end up scoring towards the top end, actually. And we actually have others over here. That's a level 1 female, 203 to 373. Level 5, 590 to 760, and a level 7, 751 to 921. So I'm going to take the female, and we should be able to get both of these males as well. So we'll go for the level 5. The level 7 will be alerted, but he's giving us a really good lung shot already. And he is dropping 50 to 75. Here is the female, she's a bronze, 329.11, left humerus, left lung, and right lung. And then we have our mythical, he is a gold, 927.59, and that was into the left lung and right lung. And then those other two males are floating over here. They are actually stacked on top of each other there. So which one are we picking up first? It'll be the level 5. Silver, 645.84, that was in the left lung. And then if we get back to this level 7 before he gets away from us, we'll pick him up as well. And there we go, he's a gold, 823.67, and that was in the right lung. Okay guys, so I didn't realize we were this close to our legendary and piebald already. But here they are, so the Legendary's estimates are 1,015 to 1,185. Diamond for Crocodiles is 1,015 even, so that is why he is guaranteed to make it. And then we have our level 5 Piebald, 542 to 712. The Legendary is giving us a really good shot, so we're going to go ahead and take him first. And then we should be able to get the Piebald without any issues, as long as he doesn't flee immediately. So let's take that, we'll just shoot him one time, and yeah, he's just going to be alerted there. And we should be able to get just straight to a lung right there. And I will shoot this guy one more time, just to be sure, and we actually dropped him with that. And then, I was going to try and take that female, but yeah, I wasn't able to. The heart rate was going all over the place, and then she got right into the water before we could take a shot. Let's go ahead and pick up the piebald first. He will be just a silver at 648.94. Got him in the right humerus and right lung with the first shot. And the second shot was thoracic vertebrae and thoracic spinal cord. So that is why we dropped him. Glad we got lung with the first shot though. So we will go ahead and tax him. This is my second piebald saltwater crocodile, I want to say. I did a grind like probably six months ago or so where i was just trying to find a rare crocodile of any type and we actually ended up getting i think it was a level four male piebald but they look really good so let's grab a few screenshots of him and we got him taxed and everything let's get him picked up and grab this legendary very curious to see what he's going to score i think there's a good chance he scores at the very bottom end of that estimate but either way, he will be a diamond, and there it is, diamond 1054.87. So definitely not bad, not at the bottom end or anything like that, just a really decent one. And we got him directly in the right lung at 123 meters. Let's also get him taxed. So I've already went ahead and placed our two trophies. I had to do a little bit of rearranging, and I figured you guys didn't want to see all that. But here's our piebald. Trophy rating was 648.9, and something that I realized is that he is way darker than our first piebald that we got. You can see this guy is super light-colored. But then this one, he's dark around the face and going down his neck and everything, so I thought that was pretty cool. I really wasn't planning on putting our diamond crocodile here in the main lodge, but I ended up finding one that was quite a bit smaller than him, so I figured I would just replace it and put oh, the diamond that we got today in here. Trophy rating was 1054.8, definitely not my biggest one, but not the smallest ever, but that is going to do it here for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, do all that stuff, it really does help out the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.